Hey guys, I know it's weird. I said that I think I was done for a while. And when I posted that video, I didn't think I would ever get the response that I did from you guys. Um, <coughs> sorry, a lot of encouraging words, uh, a lot of heartfelt ones. And you know what? Uh, it just made me think that in, when I do these videos, when I take the time, it, it shouldn't be about views and what I want you guys to watch. It should be me making videos of what I wanna make. Um, when I do the long form things, I try to keep the videos at a certain pace, uh, or I should say a certain time, because I don't want the videos to be too long, but I also don't want them to be too short because you know, I wanna put the time into what I wanna talk about, but I don't wanna go over to the time where you guys are falling asleep. And when I ramble like on like this, it, it kind of makes me feel that uh, um, I might be pushing the, the time limit. Uh, but I wanted to do this video for a while now. And I went to the comic book store on Sunday. And I saw the coolest thing in the world. The, this dad took his son. He was probably about 9, 10. Um his very first time inside this comic book store this is our local comic book store in town and the kid was so excited to be there and he picked up uh three titles <clears throat> he picked up a spider-man uh i think i saw a daredevil and something else and just the joy on this kid's face when he said this is going to be my first comic it was a amazing spider-man something it's one of the newer ones and he goes i am so excited because he was going to go watch uh, far from home in like a half an hour and um funny funny enough the story was with mysterio so he wanted to read the comic book character before he saw the movie and his dad dad goes would you want to come here again he goes oh yeah they have so many books and of course i'm holding my titles i got some good ones i, I don't want to show you guys uh just yet but there are some comics out there that want to bring in new viewers, um, new readers, I should say. And um, for the older crowd that they bring the titles out for, these are like 30, 40 years old books, some of them. Um, they bring them back, all new glossy, which is awesome. And what's great about these books is that they're a dollar each. I don't know if DC does it because I'm not a big DC guy. Uh, I have some books, but they're not my bread and butter i am more of a marvel guy and one title that you have to get if you're a new reader or if your kids in the comics and you just want him to uh experience the new stuff it's these true believers um you know say um the number ones i don't know why they say true believer number ones on it but each copy is a dollar and what's cool about this is it spans not just uh 2000s it goes way way back uh when was the, this one says august 2008 that doesn't help me but um when was this originally published it doesn't say which pisses me off something fierce but this is back in the 80s i believe and I, I think i remember this because it has the black suit spider man on it. but um it just brings you back to a time where uh spider man was doing different things and it tells you because it doesn't tell you here but it tells you in the back, very back page, what issue this was from. So if you actually like this book and you want to spend the money on the original one, you guys can find it. They can tell you on the back. But I love the fact that they do these. And I, and for the price, it's a dollar. Come on. I think it's the most important thing for a child to do is read. They don't have to read novels. Um, you know, it's good for them. Um, I highly encourage my son to to read uh, his books but what got me into reading was comics and the way that Marvel's doing it now with the true believers I think that's a very smart move for for the younger crowd uh, especially when they're trying to learn trying to get an interest and when they're trying to get that creativity flowing um, when I was drawing before I messed up my hands that's how I that's how I learned to draw was through comics um, you know the, the position of the body and the way uh, the physical limitations of one could do actually in the body was pretty cool but I just want to highly recommend to anybody out there grab these books 
If you see a do if you see a like a book for a dollar, just grab it. Just read it. Just enjoy it. Uh, let your kids enjoy it. I don't know why some uh, some parents don't let their uh, their kids read comic books. It just blows my mind. Like why? What? What's so wrong about reading a silly story with uh, Aunt May marrying Doctor Octopus? Like, come on. Or uh, a vampire fighting a six-armed Spider-Man. Or this might be a little creepy, but you know, she, she Venom. I, I might not want my kid reading She Venom. Uh, this was part of a Venom storyline, The Bride of Venom. This was issue three. So, I don't know if I want my kid to read Venom, but whatever. And um, the origin of the, the black suit there. I love this cover. I've always loved this cover. But, you know, it's just not Spider-Man with the True Believers. You got Avengers. You got... Um, a uh, mismatch of certain titles. You gotta. I love the what ifs, uh, true believers. Uh, just different stories for different folks, I guess. But um, yeah, I just want to really do that. Do this video, and uh, maybe I'm not done with YouTube just yet. Um, you never know. Uh, maybe I'll pump out more videos. But this is the video I wanted to do right now. Was get your kids reading comics. For the love of God, get them reading something. Don't let them sit upstairs playing video games all day like my kid does most of the time. Um, you know, you can get them out. You can take them to parks. You can take them to whatever adventure island place they have out there. But, you know, when it comes down to it, when it's like 6 or 7 o'clock at night, if you're trying to die down and you want them to read a little bit, get, them, get that brain flowing, just throw them a comic book. That's... I think that's the greatest thing in the world. Or, you know, both of you, you know, mom, dad, and the kid, sit down and and look through this stuff. But, um, yeah, that's it for uh, today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I know I said I was done, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just not done just quite yet. Um, but, um, yeah, so throw me a comment down below. Um, throw me a like if you want. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do. And as always, guys, I love you. And I appreciate you. And I will talk to you later.